so i have that space in that corner of my room so this is going to be the easiest part so far for now i'll be using the magic keyboard so this piece of wood is my secret weapon So this is my messy yet effective setup A. This is how it looks and this is my productive setup B. This thing simply gets the job done. Let's discuss why. So the issue I was facing with this setup is that I can't really get into that focus mode over here. The thing is that I basically do everything here as you can see. I produce my music over here, play games over here, work on my freelance projects and also research over here. So It's like too many things at once. Hence, whenever I try to do some serious work over here, I often get distracted, knowing that I would have been doing something more fun. So, in order to fix this problem, I'm thinking of creating an alternate setup. So, I have that space in that corner of my room. So, I already have an iMac. So, I'm thinking of getting a cheap desk from Amazon, and we can create an alternate setup over there. And I'll be doing only my serious work over there, like scripting for my videos or doing some research and other stuff. So that way, I'll be able to train my mind to actually do some focus work there. So, whenever I sit in that desk. i can by default turn on my focus mode so yeah together let's create my alternate desk setup so this is what we have to work with so let's get the desk first so this is going to be the easiest part so far and now we have to deal with a lot of stuff after this all right so i used to have an alternate setup with my macbook before this but since i have the imac now i'm going to place that So now the main thing is out of the way and we can focus on the decoration part. For now I'll be using the magic keyboard and I hate the magic mouse so I'm using the MX Master. All right, so the idea behind this setup of mine was that I wanted things to be simple and right in front of me. So since this is in one corner of my room, I have both my setups like this and I have also a storage kind of area so that I can access whatever I need from you. Like I have kept this setup clean. Like I only have the useful things and the things that make you productive. Another big reason on why I created this setup is because I have an editor. So when he comes, I couldn't really work. So now we'll be able to work together. I can work on my own and he can work on his own over here. So my name is Prithviraj and Let's take a look on what we exactly have in this new setup. So let's talk about the desk first. I got this for only twenty five hundred rupees, so which is around thirty dollars. So it was quite cheap, I must say. So this setup is mostly used for video editing and research related stuff, where I need my full focus, not to not get distracted. I'm currently using the iMac M3, and it's working really great. If I compare with my Windows PC, the render time is really high, but that isn't really affecting me because I generally render the long term videos over here, so I am not in a rush while rendering. And working here, it's quite smooth. I have no issues using DaVinci Resolve and stuff and it's a 4.5k color accurate monitor so I I know I'm working with the best over here now let's talk about the peripheral so I'm currently using the Apple Magic Keyboard this is because my editor likes the number pad so that is the reason we have this but I personally like this one Keychron K2 because I don't really consider it to be a keyboard if I can't hear what I type so that is that I rather use this setup while I'm scripting my videos but while day to day usage i come back to the magic keyboard only because of the touch id so convenient while downloading apps and stuff so this desk kind of had a storage unit below so it's really convenient to keep my keyboard there and i can switch whenever it's required i previously mentioned this in my imac review video i'm not at all a fan of the apple magic mouse so i'm still using the logitech mx master 2s it's one of the best mouse out there i know there's a new version of this mouse but i don't really need it this still works like a beast i really like the grip which i have and also the horizontal scroll This is something I never knew I needed, but once I got used to it, when I use some other mouse, I really miss this one. I'll be honest. And the best part about this mouse is that I have a Windows PC over there and an Apple computer over here, so I can simply copy my stuff from here to there, and it totally works like a charm. So when I export something and I want to take it to my Windows PC, I can simply right-click copy, right-click paste on that computer. I don't need Google Drive or anything else. It's so much convenient. I can't stress this enough. It's really convenient. Next we have the Wacom pen tablet Wacom 1. So I can use this in two ways. So firstly I use this with Photoshop while retouching stuff in my photos and stuff. And also if I needed to take some handwritten notes I can take that using this device. So it works with both my computers. I also have this cheap desk lamp from Amazon. It has three different colors. Another reason I use this magic keyboard is that I can just pick it up and throw it behind. So every morning when I wake up I just sit here 
open my planner i can easily plan for my day i recently got into this habit of planning my day and it's becoming so much helpful i'll be very honest like in the middle of the day i don't have to wander around thinking what my next task is i already have it pre-planned so every morning i get up and plan my day sipping my morning coffee so i have this coffee mat over here i think i got this from an nvidia event a long time back so that goes there it's really helpful again next up is this timer so i basically set a timer and keep it on my desk so this kind of helps me in many ways so firstly whenever i see my timer i get that sense of urgency that i need to finish this before the timer goes off this has actually helped me work more fast and i'm also using this as a pomodoro timer i set a work duration of 40 minutes and then i can take a 20 minutes break behind i have some peripheral stuff connected with my imac i have this lexor card reader it's really fast along with that i have connected my samsung t7 ssd with it because my imac only has 512 gigs so i connected this with a 2 tb ssd and i have a lot more storage now because we all know apple really charges a premium for storage and makes no sense to be honest also i've connected an anchor usb hub with it so in case i need to add anything else with that i can because we only have four type c ports on the imac i always have a few books lying around that i'm currently reading and also this youtube pen stand kind of thing so i can put my pen and stuff along with that i have a fake plant to look good so yeah this was my setup but do you know what let's take this a one step higher like this one was the prettier version of this setup and now Let's go to the more useful one. So this piece of wood is my secret weapon. You'll get to see why exactly. So just by adding that, my setup has changed completely. It's not as pretty as it was before, but this one is surely more productive. Firstly, I'm a six feet guy, so I couldn't really sit straight while working. I had to just jerk in front and it's not really ergonomic as you might know. Because of this, my back feels like it's 40 years old, but that's really sad. So now the monitor is kind of in the right height for me. And also I can keep more stuff right in front of me. And like I previously mentioned, I only do my productive and serious work over here. I intentionally did not keep a wireless charger over here so that I can keep my phone away from my side. I actually have a wireless charger on that desk of mine, but we can cover that desk in a different video. This one is about this. And because of this, I got another benefit. So I currently am recording using my iPad. Else I generally keep my iPad like this. I can just connect it and keep it like this so it works as a dual monitor as we can now connect your iPad with your Mac. So by this process my double monitor issue is also kind of fixed and yeah it's always good to have some storage space to keep all your stuff. So I really recommend that you get something like this so that you can like elevate the height of your monitor so that you can give your back a little bit of rest it deserves it. One thing I really need to upgrade is my chair I kind of have a cheap chair again so I'll be working with that now and then we can improve that. I try to keep this setup as simple and as minimal I possibly can because overdoing things don't really help you stay productive which happened with me on that setup i'll be linking all the products that we mentioned in this video in the description box below the like button so yeah this is my new productivity setup and also we can cover my not so productive setup in a different video so make sure you're subscribed for that and now if you would like to see what all tech i carry while traveling then you can click here thanks for watching once again and i hope to see you there